So let's take a look at our first bullet point, annual turnover, 50 million. What I'm gonna do first of all, and this may scare the life out of everyone, but I'm actually going to select everything and completely remove all bullet points. I know that's a frightening thing to, uh, to do in a presentation, but trust me, it'll be worth it. So what I'm gonna do now is select my first bullet point, and I'm actually going to um, cut that out and just put it in a separate text box. So uh, again, I'm using PowerPoint here, but of course you can also do this in Prezi very, very easily. So I'm going to insert a new text box at the very bottom here. We'll just use this little space for now. And then what I'm going to do is select the word 50 or the words 50 million because they are the most important uh, points that we're trying to get across. I'm going to make them bold and I'm going to increase the font size of those so that they're much, much bigger than the words annual turnover. Then what I'm going to do is hit the enter key in between turnover and 50 in the pound sign and do something like this. And then of course we need to get more visuals. So what I'm gonna bring through now is the icon set or one of the icons from the set that, uh, that you downloaded earlier. So let's have a look in here. Here's the colored icons that, uh, that we have. So we're looking for anything that connects to uh, money or currency or finance. Um, you know, the icons I select might not, you might not feel comfortable with them and you might want to choose something else and that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to choose this big stack of cash here just to be really, really blunt about what it is we're, uh, we're talking about. I'm gonna move that next to my words and then I'm just gonna shrink that image down so that everything is roughly the same size. I'm gonna hold the shift key down on my keyboard and select my text. And then what I'm going to do is group everything together. So there we go, I'm gonna select group. So that's now become one object. There we go. So I can move that around anywhere I want. I'm just gonna stick it up here in the top right hand corner for now. And let's move on. So the next um, item, the next bullet point is offices in 12 global locations. So again, I'm gonna cut that line out, go to my insert menu and grab a text box, paste that in. And I suppose we want people to really know it's the numbers, um, and in fact, you know what, I think I said that I would probably remove words uh, a bit more as we were going through this, and I think the word locations is probably completely unneeded. So I'm gonna make 12 global much bolder and bigger, and just do the same thing that I did with the previous point. Then I'm gonna go to my Pictures drop down, picture from file. Of course, again, if you're in Prezi, go to insert and images and just find your, uh, find your icon sets from there. So now we wanna find anything linked to uh, the globe or a global community um, or maybe like a building to represent office space. And uh, let's have a look. There's bound to be something in here. So I'm gonna select this icon, which is the world icon. I'm gonna bring that next to my text again, make it nice and small. There we go. Select my text, right click, and group those together. So straight away with a few simple steps, you know, this isn't taking me hours to do this is literally within a, a few seconds or you know a couple of minutes at, at the very most so let's just try that again remove another line um, but i'm pretty sure you get the the idea by this stage so feel free uh, to pause the video now if you really want to go off and try this yourself in prezi or powerpoint but here's what i would do with the other 
um, bullet points. So employ 60, uh, sorry, 6,000 staff members. Um, we probably don't need to add the word employ um, because if we're saying 6,000 staff members, then it's pretty obvious that they're employed. So let's make that bold. Let's make that nice and big. Let's drop staff members down below and just repeat that process. Go to insert from file. And I'm pretty sure I saw an icon in here of um, like a group of people. There we go. Let's use that one. Drop that onto our slide. Make that nice and small. Perfect. And then right click and group. And we're nearly done, just one more to go. So let's make that text box smaller. So this was quite a wordy one. Customer satisfaction risen 25% over three years. What I might actually do is look for an icon first and then I'll decide which, um, which of the words I can still afford to get rid of. So let's have a look. Customer satisfaction has risen. I'm pretty sure that I did see an arrow in here indicating a rise in something. So there we go. This one here is the graph. Let's use that. Bring that onto the screen, make it a bit smaller. So let's do the same with these words. So customer satisfaction, I think we'll leave there. Um, risen 25%. That's really important, so let's make that bold. Let's make that much bigger, like so. And then over three years, in fact, we may even add a word. Let's say over three years. Let's just see how this looks. We may need to play around with this one a little bit. Bold, let's bring that up to the same size. There we go. That looks okay to me. We could probably work on that one a little bit more, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. I think people will definitely get the idea. There we go. So if I move that to the bottom of the screen now, we can display these in different ways. Maybe we're actually gonna have um, each bullet point on the various different sides of the screen like so. We don't have to have them in a, uh, in a vertical line going down our slide. Maybe we'll present them something like this and let's get rid of this silly title that I've added as well. There we go. And let's just select everything and center that up a bit. Now there's obviously some fine tuning that we'd wanna do, particularly with this last bullet point here. And also we would probably wanna make each of the icons we've used exactly the same size but I'm pretty sure you'll agree that our audience members now are going to have a much easier job um, at reading the key facts and figures, understanding what it is they're looking at, and also not being distracted by words that just don't need to be on the screen. So it's really, really important that you obviously try this yourself now. Go into Prezi, go into PowerPoint, whichever you prefer to use, or even try this in both uh, to compare the two. Um, and just use those icons. I use the colored icons, but feel free to use the black and white ones as well. Or of course your own icon sets that your design or marketing teams have supplied to you. And as well, please feel free to use your own bullet points instead of those that I've used in the training here. I'm sure you've got tons of bullet points in previous presentations that you can just go and grab. So um, this video will finish now. Go and have a practice with that in Prezi or PowerPoint and then come back to the final video. There's just one or two things to mention to you before we wrap up.